<laughs> Don't be afraid. Come on, little one. What's wrong? <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not here to scold you. I'm here to talk to you. What is wrong? <sighs> you look scared. You look like something might be bothering you. You should never be afraid to talk to me, little one. I suppose everyone around here would have you believe that <laughs> the council is cruel people. No, we cast judgement on the students here to keep everyone in line, but <laughs> that does not mean that we do not have feelings as well. No, does it? <laughs> of course not. What ails you, little one? Tell me, what is wrong? Ah, I see. You're scared. <clears throat> Do you mind if I sit with you for a little while? Thank you. I know that it... I know that sometimes moving on to a bigger place or a new part of your life, a new adventure can be a little scary. Mm -hmm. I was scared too. <laughs> I was always scared that I was going to fail. That I wasn't going to be good enough or make it. But I did. You should never fear the future. You should embrace it. You should be yourself in that future and not what anybody else wants you to be. Do you understand? Not everyone in the world is good. Some people can be very cruel. But you are such a sweet little angel. And you're going to be okay. Hey, you've got me now. Maybe one day you can join the council. But till that day you decide you want to do that little one, I will be by your side. Think of me like your little guardian angel. <laughs> I'll look out for you. And I'll be there for you if you need someone. That's what I'm going to do. For you. I know what it's like to fear. To be scared. It is a tricky time that we are in. And I know that sometimes it might be really hard to see hope at the end of that tunnel. I was there too. Fearing the worst and... Having really bad intrusive thoughts, not thinking I was going to get out of it, but I did. I found people like me that wanted to be around me. <clears throat> no, it is not easy for everyone, I can assure you, but just take my hand. I'm going to help you through this, so everything else that's going around... All the screaming, all the noises, everything that is scaring you, everything that is raging on in your head, that war? Put down your weapons, darling. You don't have to be backed up in a corner anymore, afraid. Just take my hand and come with me. And you're going to be safe. Because I'm here now. Now that you have me, you'll never have to fear again. I will show you and I will help you grow as a person. You just gotta let me try and help you. That is all. You're gonna take a new step and a new journey, but it is your choice if you want to do it. I'm not saying you should jump right into it, grow up right away, but what I'm saying is that take your time. New job opportunities, new relationships. You don't have to rush it because... That was my fear, that I'd rush everything and everything would be gone. By the time morning would arise, everything I loved wouldn't be there anymore. And I know that that's probably your fear too, but you don't have to fear that. Just take it slow, at your own pace. And I believe that you can do millions of incredible things. You're so smart and you have a great head on your shoulders. Don't ever listen to anyone. 
People will always be jealous and condescending and narcissistic and they will try to bring you down. You can't allow what other people think or even sometimes your loneliness to get in the way of living your life. Go live the way you want to wanna live. Go have fun with people that you've just met, you know? Obviously take care of yourself and don't do anything dumb, but... Go and live the life that you crave to live. You're not going to get that life by sitting in your room all day or slaving away over a job. Jobs are important, yeah, because you make income and you can improve your life a little bit better, but you can't make your job your whole life or your whole personality. You have to live for yourself. Do things that you enjoy. Make sure that you can improve yourself and mentally be able to cope. I wish I had someone telling me this when I was stuck, when I was scared, when I was alone sitting in my room with no one to help me. I've sat in this torture chamber for years, not able to get out, with my fear of my trauma and my past hanging over me. But you don't have to be stuck in that anymore. Sometimes you have to let go of things that happened in the past to move on with your future. Who am I? I'm a person that gave every little part of my happiness and myself to help other people smile. To help other people grow. To help other people get out of the pain that they were in. So I'm giving a part of myself to you. So you can heal. So that you have someone. I'm giving a part of myself to save you. Because I know that no matter how scared you are, you just need someone to take your hand and help you through it. You're going to be okay. So wipe those tears off your face and no crying. (laughs) You should never shed a tear for someone that doesn't deserve it. People would try to destroy your happiness and the light of your life. You might feel like it's too late to go back or that you're broken already, but you're not. (sighs) When I saw you here crying, little one, I could just tell that you were struggling and that it wasn't easy for you. Sometimes in life, you get fucked and you find someone to get fucked with. (laughs) It's a sad truth. Not everything is easy and you're going to come across so much more struggles than just this one. And I do apologise for that. Because you do deserve so much better but... The world we live in doesn't just grant you that. You have to build it. You weren't born with the opportunities that others may have been born with. But you will build it. You will earn it on your own accord. That's what makes you incredible. You can do it. I know you can. So don't sit there being scared. Go and do it. Go out, get a drink with friends or maybe even rekindle old relationships with old friends that you never really spoke to much. Or just go out into the big world that we are in and meet people. You don't need social media for that. Go meet random strangers and make friends and... You know, live a little. Be happy. Well, try to be. Easier said than done, I understand, but... This world is a cruel mistress. And you do not deserve to be alone. But, as I said, one day you can join the council. Up here with the rest of us. Well, the ones that survived. Because that's what we are. We're a group of people that wanted to help improve others and build their own things. I will walk you through these halls and I will help you every step of the way. You're struggling with exams or anything? I'm here for you, little one. And stop being so cruel to yourself. Stop trying to shelter the innocence that you had your little self stop pushing them down they shouldn't be pushed down talk to them 
Understand where your pain is coming from. Understand that it's not impossible. You're going to be okay. I know it's hard to hear that. And I know it's scary, but you are going to be okay. We are going to get through this. I promise you. I know how hard it can be and I know it's a weight in your chest and I know you're trying to cry but you don't even know how to scream. You don't even know how to cry and you shut yourself quiet every single time because you're afraid of them hearing you but you're going to make it and I'm going to be there with you every step of the way, I promise. You don't have to fear the world that we're in. Because you're stronger than you look. You have the greatest mind the world has ever seen. And you're beautiful. And you're strong. And you're intelligent. Never, ever let anyone bring you down. Fuck their opinions. Fuck who they are as people. You be yourself. Fuck the social norms and what everybody else conforms to in this society. Do what makes you happy, personally. <laughs> I love retro music and 80s vibes. I'll sometimes just, in my pastime, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but I'll just sit in VR and watch old movies and old cartoons on like retro TVs or whatever the hell you want to call it. Like the really old TVs. <laughs> it's like... When I was a kid, you'd go to Blockbusters and get a movie and put it on and you'd gather around the TV with your friends <laughs> when you were a kid or when I was a kid, we used to trade DVDs. Um, <laughs> we used to trade DVDs around the neighborhood that we were in with all our, because we knew everyone. So we would trade DVDs and I loved horror so I would trade horror DVDs for more horror DVDs and we'd all trade movies back and forth and honestly that's the one thing I loved about being a kid. We did used to have VHSs but <laughs> I was a bit younger when they, those came out so. <sighs> but I do like old things. Kind of just the way I am. Other than that though. Just find something that you love. Find the joyous memories in your life. I know the dark ones might want to cloud it. I know the dark ones might try to hide it. But you can do it. Pick out the memories that brought you joyous and happiness and not so dull in darkness. See some light in the world that you deserve to see. <laughs> Darling, little one, I'm never leaving your side, and I love you so much. You're going to be okay, I promise. As long as I live, you'll never be alone again. Come here, give me a hug. 